Hi, and welcome to Judd's channel, right here on YouTube. The first step for all you do-it-yourselfers is to sand the shiny surface off of your old linoleum flooring. If your floor is anything like mine, it won't take that much. Linoleum is known to turn yellow with wear and age. Also, chemicals used to clean these floors over time will turn them to a yellow tint. After sanding with a medium grit sandpaper, the best thing to do now is to clean the dust from the floor using hot water and a regular mop. Now, to cut the tape, you will need a flat surface. I'm using this cutting board as you see here. And you'll also need a cutter, like this utility knife, or box cutter as it's called, along with a straight edge. The smallest painter's tape I could find was 0.75 inches wide, as you see here. And obviously, this is not a quarter of an inch. So what I'm going to have to do is cut this down to match the pattern in the flooring. And I'm going to come over here and eye a quarter of an inch. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, as I mentioned earlier. And you hold it down like so. Get your cutter ready and always be careful when cutting with sharp tools. And here we go. Simply glide across the tape and cut as close as you can to a quarter of an inch strip. How easy is that? I told you it would be. Now, you have one strip, which is approximately a quarter of an inch wide, and then you'll be able to apply this to the design of your flooring. We have lines running in both directions, and they are crisscrossing to make a tiled effect, as you can see. Just follow the line all the way to the edge, like so. And a real trick here for you, ladies and gentlemen, when you're tracing your pattern with the tape, go in one direction first and then overlap. The reason for this is when you go to pull this tape up after the paint is cured, you will be able to go in one direction and then the other. Makes it a lot easier. I'll be using Glidden's Porch and Floor Paint with a satin finish. This paint is designed to withstand foot traffic and add a decorative appeal with a durable satin finish. It also resists oil and spills. In some instances, you might find the strips of tape do not line up evenly. This isn't a problem and it's easily fixed. Subtle changes are hard to detect. Now here's how to fix it. This is a neat little trick I have learned and will make your finished floor look even better. What you want to do is come along here and add a scrap piece of tape over the existing tape. Since the tape is very flexible, start at one end and gradually bend it over the gapped tape. And what you just did was change a drastic dip in the line to one that is less noticeable. Alternately, you can cut the imperfections of the gap with your box cutter. Since you're going to be painting the floor anyway, because it looks like crap, there's no need to worry about cutting the floor. Any minor cuts you make will be filled with paint. Take your box cutter and cut along the difference until the two pieces match up. Any remaining tape can be taken up to reveal a less noticeable difference. The difference will be very subtle and the only one that will see it are mother-in-laws from hell. From hell. From hell. Okay, there you go. Another little tip for you. Now after allowing to dry and cure, you have the task of actually peeling the um, tape off. Now remember I was explaining how when you do this tape, you do it in the same direction. So in other words, you put these pieces overlapping onto one another, so you usually pull from one end all the way across. And that's what I've done here. As you see, I'm just very gently peeling this up. It comes up very nicely. And since I used the overlapping method, I actually pulled this and continue pulling on one complete piece of tape. Now sometimes there's an exception to the rule and it gets stuck, but most of the time it comes right up beautifully. Now you have a brand new floor, and if you remember the before picture, <laughs> uh, it's quite a dramatic difference. If this is an apartment, you don't necessarily have to do all the work, like say in a closet. You can just go to a certain level and then rehang your door, and that way you'll be good to go. All right, 